My name is Harsh Singh. I'm a professor at uh, Baking and Pastry Arts program, and I also coordinate the Baking and Pastry Arts program at the college. Before we actually start the semester, the, the schedule is on the CSI, and uh, it depends on the learning outcome. And we have already decided what products are going to be made. So the students know exactly what is going to be next week or what is going to be today or tomorrow. So they come in uh, knowing what they, they are going to expect and prepared. The baking practical class is 100% hands-on. There is no uh, online component in the baking practical. In the first year, they have 11 hours, so five and a half hours each day times two. In the second year, they have five hours times two, which is 10 hours. Uh, that's what they have baking practical one and two and they're completely hands-on, there's no online work. Well, the class consists of um, students preparing recipes, uh, following a demonstration, preparing a finished product, uh, as well as uh, using their skills that they're learning and that I'm teaching them. Uh, every day they're learning something new and they'll be using those skills throughout the entire course. Basic skills uh, needed, of course, knife skills. Uh, we want all our students to be safe. And so they have to learn how to use knives, how to use piping bags, how to use scales. Uh, in baking, baking is kind of a science. So you really need to be able to scale your ingredients correctly and without any mistakes. And when your mistakes happen, then we actually learn on those things and we learn from our mistakes as well. So we find out why things went wrong and how to correct them. Basically we start off, you know, like this is how we use a machine, this is how we scale, this is how, you know, this is all the very, very basics. And then we start going for the next step and the next step. And by the time they finish their full, I think it's a two-year term they're using in, in here, the fourth semester, they should be ready for the industry. They should be ready to go and, uh, I would say an entry-level job, maybe a little bit more than that. So Savoir Faire already has the same schedule that we give out to students. Savoir Faire has that, so they are expecting uh, what is uh, supposed to come out to uh, Savoir Faire. And that's how Marianne from Savoir Faire, she advertises uh, to the community, uh, the college community. And uh, whatever we make is brought out by the students to the Savoir Faire. And she tells them where to put it. And they put it out there according to her specification. And uh, after that, she takes it over. Uh, whatever is made at Savoir Faire, it rolls back into the school.